What is up guys? We are continuing our CES 2020 coverage and today we're going to be talking about Thermaltake. Now Thermaltake had a ton of different products at their booth but a few things really caught our attention. We have two cases, some memory that does not have RGBs and a really interesting AIO. Our CES 2020 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's A2000 entry-level NVMe solid state drive. With up to one terabyte of capacity and three times the performance of a traditional SSD at about the same price. So the first thing that we're gonna be talking about is the AHT600TG. It is this monstrosity of a massive case that Thermaltake was showing off. So Thermaltake says that this case is military inspired and we can kind of see that by its design. It sort of has that aircraft sort of design with the fronts kind of looking like intakes. It does look a lot like many of the other open air cases that we've seen come out in the past few years. And this is a massive case. It's definitely one of the biggest cases that we've seen here at CES 2020. Now being so big means that you have a lot of different cooling options. So in this case, you can fit a 480 millimeter radiator in the front a 360 in the top and you can also side mount a 360 as well this case also will support thermaltake's own distro plates so with that you have no fans included with this case and I actually kind of like that because this is a really big case designed for a you know awesome build and you don't want it loaded with a bunch of fans you might not even use so you know, I really like that and it does keep the price down as well. As far as motherboard support, you can support motherboards all the way up to ATX. And when it comes to storage, you can fit three two and a half inch or three and a half inch hard drives. All of the tempered glass panels on the case are five millimeters thick. And the main panel is actually on a hinge design, which makes it really easy to open up the case and access your hardware. Thermaltake will be offering this case in both white and black versions. They plan to have the case out sometime in 2020 and the MSRP will be $229.99. The next case that Thermaltake had is really made for that custom water cooling loop. It's their Distro Case 350P and it's based off their old Core P5 design. So if you're familiar with that, they've basically taken the case part out of that and replaced it with a very big distro plate for custom water cooling. Inside that distro plate is an embedded D5 pump and you'll also get 52 RGB LEDs, which of course can be controlled with Thermaltake software. The case has room for 360 millimeter radiators, motherboards up to ATX, and then you do have room inside for two hard drives, either two 2.5 inch or two 3.5 inch. And there is, you know, a tempered glass panel that, you know, goes on the front there. That is five millimeter thick tempered glass. Now, Thermaltake doesn't have an exact release date for this. They say they want it to come out sometime in 2020, and the price is gonna be around 500 to $600. Thermaltake also had a really interesting AIO and they're calling it the world's first CPU and memory AIO. So it's an all-in-one or closed loop cooler for your CPU as well as your memory. Um, it's the Flow RC series. So there's a 360 millimeter version and a 240 millimeter version. So you have the RC360 and the RC240. Um, and the whole idea is, of course, to keep your CPU cool and your memory cool as well. Um, it is an interesting design, but Thermaltake did tell us that this is, they're only planning for a China release for this, so we're probably not gonna see this over here. But it's really interesting and it's cool to see more things kinda, you know, go into that closed loop cooler, just make it a lot easier for beginners. So finally, we have Thermaltake's Tough Ram. So Thermaltake has had their water ram, and then their Tough Ram RGB. This is basically like the Tough Ram RGB without RGB. And I think a lot of people will actually appreciate the non RGB version um, because, especially when it comes to thermal take, it's always like RGB in your face. And it's good to have, you know, a good product without the RGB lighting. 
This will come in both white and black versions, which is really great, I think. You know, especially the white version, you can do a lot of really cool stuff with um, when it comes to doing white theme builds and things like that. And of course, the black version's gonna look good with, you know, pretty much any motherboard out there. Um, they do use a 10 layer PCB with this. And then it will come in 16 gigabyte kits ranging from 32 megahertz all the way up to 4400 megahertz. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for Thermaltake at CES 2020. We have the AHT600TG, which is that massive case, um, both available in white and black versions. We have the DistroCase 350P, which if you're into water cooling, that's definitely something to be excited about. We have that really interesting, you know, CPU and memory AIO. And then we finally have the Tough Ram. Definitely let us know in the comment section below which one was your favorite. And of course, you know, stay tuned for all of our CES 2020 coverage. We'll see you guys in the next video.